Hello everyone, uh, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with Zenrut. Hello. And we're here to play some Dokkan. I need to grind up turtles, so we're just gonna fight turtles a whole bunch. And, uh, it's, his weakness is apparently, uh, transforming units, so I have on my side Harutagarn and, uh, Slug. Everyone's favorites. Actually, two of our favorites, if that's correct. I remember, Zen, you did a Harutagarn thingy. Yes, you mean the, the brutal truth behind Harutagarn? Yeah, you uncovered the truth, which is that a bunch of YouTubers are trying to hide the fact, uh, that he's actually very good. He's extremely good. They're trying to pull the wool over everybody's eyes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, conspiracy. They don't want apes to be good because they're all using apes. And don't let that, the fact that it's impossible to find an ape lead fool you. It's actually, this is probably one of the worst rotations. Actually not. It's actually Broly, uh, Metacooler, and then Broly again. <laughs> <laughs> and the first round is just like, there's a whole bunch of turtles, dude. So this is actually perfect because I actually need an AOE guy. So let me just quickly kill this fucker right here where he stands. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that there's a define. I finally have a, a use for this Broly, which is to use him to run slug. Because that's really all I ever wanted. Because it's impossible to run Slug on the team he's the leader for. Yeah, there's a few characters like that. Yeah, where it's just kind of impossible to actually find a lead for this guy. Uh, there goes Ballsack guy. They're all dead. Just all of them gone. Rip Ballsack guy. Rip Ballsack guy, who I can't remember uh, what his name is at all. Also, I'm obviously going to keep on the same team, uh, Slug and Harutagarn. They're basically best friends. How come it is that um, Slug gets brought back more in Dragon Ball than Harutagarn? Harutagarn's a giant fucking bug monster? Well, I just mean Tapion also in general. Like, I don't think I ever see Tapion return for anything. But meanwhile, Slug has like 17 different forms. You got... Oh, you mean like in the video games and stuff? Yeah, yeah like in Heroes and stuff. Like, you'll see Slug before you see Tapion. Yeah, for sure. He's always like uh, Turles is like second in command, eagle minion. Yeah, Turles is also one where I don't understand. Now that Goku Black is here, why is Turles still a thing? I don't know. People really fucking like Turles, even though he is like nothing. He he barely exists. Man, barely a character, like half a character at best. Oh man, this Broly and his extremely what looks like to be an, an overpowered uh, super attack. Still have not seen the Broly movie, though. You know, maybe someday. I mean, it's not good, but it's got a lot of really pretty fights. The 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 Dragon Ball Super Broly? So it's not what everyone was saying for that week it was released, where they said this is better than Battle of Gods? Um... I don't know. I mean... Mm. You have to think about that one for a bit? I don't, I don't think it's better from, like, a, a narrative perspective. But mm. it was it was more of a fun movie than it should have been. Considering the fact that it is Broly. Like, you know why Frieza came for the Dragon Balls, right? Uh, no. I actually don't know anything. Again, oh. when ever, the only thing people talk about that movie is literally the fights. No one mentions that's anything that's else. That's the whole movie. Yeah. But uh, there, are, there are some funny Dragon Ball humor moments in it. Like, uh, Frieza comes to Earth to get the Dragon Balls, and everyone's like, oh my god! Frieza is coming to be immortal, and actually all he wants to do is be five centimeters taller. <laughs> He's collecting the Dragon Balls over time and wishing for more five centimeter increments so it looks like he's naturally growing. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> That's his whole evil plan, is he just wants to continually be slightly taller over and over again so that nobody calls him out on growing too fast. That's great. Uh, okay, you know what? That that does sound actually very good. So maybe I should watch Dragon Ball Super Broly. It has the yeah, same... Also there's, there's a fantastic part when Goku and Vegeta are fighting Broly at the same time and they can't beat him. And uh, they're trying to get away from him so that they can go to Piccolo and learn how to fuse. And so they fly past Frieza and Goku just goes, Okay, hey Frieza, <laughs> you just have to fight him now. And then they leave. And Broly just beats the piss out of Frieza for a while. Broly, uh, modern day Frieza seems to be very good at just taking all forms of abuse that gets thrown at him. Yeah, they saw him survive the Namek thing, and Toei was like, we can work with this. What if we just made him a... 
It's like similar to like what Majin Buu was extremely hard to kill, but at least with Majin Buu they always showed you the fact like, oh, it's because he's a weird like Kirby monster. And then, <laughs> but with Frieza they never give you like that idea. He just is able to survive because he's very good at surviving. And he's just very durable, so he gets his shit beat in all the time. And then he, he keeps getting back up. Yeah, he comes back as a as a Mecha Frieza because he apparently survived being ch being cut in half and then thrown into space. Until After a planet exploded on top of him. Yeah, which is funny because when he comes back as Mecha Frieza, he's cut in like uh, he has a new bottom half, but also he has a new top half. And I was always wondering One of like his arms get blown off when Namek explodes. I think. Oh, does it? Okay, so what what happened to the top of his head? No, is no, that... no. He loses the arm to the the disc. Okay. Cuts his lower body off and one of his arms. Okay, okay. You've been recently reading it again, so I'm gonna trust you on this one. Yeah. Because remember when he blasts Goku like an idiot, he only has the one hand. Ah, oh, that's right, that's right. You mean the very foolish thing that he does? Yes. <laughs> you well, the one of many. <laughs> one of the better translations from fighters. You moron! Have you seen the fan translation of that? Where it's you stupid fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds it's awesome. It's great. It's just Goku going, you stupid fuck. <laughs> and he blasts him. <laughs> Edgy Dragon Ball fan translations are my favorite fucking thing. That, that's Dragon Ball Super's translations are so bad. Oh, for the fan translations? Or are you talking about official yeah. translations? Okay. No, the fan translations. Like when there's one of Vegeta just screaming, you motherfucker. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, any of those old, like, um, like VHS fan subs of, for the old Dragon Ball Z things? Where I think the old, recently. Like, yellow subs? Yeah, the stuff where it's like. Uh, I forget where it's like. You know how in the beginning, whenever they tell you, it's like, oh, this is translated by this or something? And one of the DB translations just said, like, Miami Mike, I remember what you did. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. It's uh, oh, it's something funny. fancy. There's something fancy and elegant to fan translations back when everyone said fuck. Like, uh, Naruto, there's definitely a bunch of Naruto that got ruined for me because it was like, I guess in this scene, Naruto just says, you dumb fuck. <laughs> when are you going to get your shit together? <laughs> oh, man. I'm just going to Google edgy fan translations and read them all while you do that. All right. Dad, let's also not forget the immortal lines from Ultimate Gohan, which is the... <laughs> You. The second one is a Dragon Ball one, and it's Vegeta saying, You have some nerve, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if Vegeta actually talked like that, I think I'd actually have massive respect for him. <laughs> God, that one's so good. You might want to keep that one for you, for personal use later. <laughs> oh, man, there's a really good one. It's Beerus, and it's a comparison of, like, versus the edgy fan translation. Mm -hmm. So the actual one is, That food may be common for you jerks, but I've never had it before. My precious pudding. <laughs> edgy fan translation. <laughs> you assholes may be used to eating pudding all the fucking time, but that was going to be my first time ever eating fucking pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the edge. You can just feel all the straight-up edge coming from that one. Man, again, there's something... <laughs> King Kai cussing is the funniest shit! Alright, go ahead. Let's see what he can call her. Go ahead. Let the King Kai... So the real one is, you idiot, this isn't somebody you want as your opponent. If you upset Lord Beerus, we'll be in for a world of trouble. Uh-huh. The fuck is wrong with you? From his point of view, you're just fodder. If we get on Lord Beerus' bad side, we'll be neck deep in shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can also hear it in the uh, the accent too. I was like, "Go, go, you won't be neck deep in shit." <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, Goku? Goku, you fucking moron! <laughs> Oh, I think cussing them out is very good. Is there any with Goku of him going like... Oh, I bet there is. Hang on. Of like him showing up on Nappy and... other than the you stupid fuck? Yeah. Like him showing up on Nappy and going, Sup, bitches. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Here's one. It's, uh... 
hey, Videl, for the universe tournament, where's Gohan? And Videl says, he had an important academic conference today and couldn't come. And then Goku says, that little shit. <laughs> you little bastard. See, that, that little shit. See, maybe that's where all the Goku mistranslation is coming from. It's coming from edgy Goku talking about Gohan. Hang on, wait. I'm going to put one in the chat that's just so good. All right, good, because I'm, I'm just about finished with grinding up these turtles. Oh, fuck, I put the wrong thing. Fuck. Hang on. Is that what? Is that the translation? Fuck, I put in the wrong thing? Fuck. Uh, it's close. Okay. I like that it showed up. <laughs> I like, I think... How many E's? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> Where is that with the where's that one specifically from? Is that Cell Saga? Or I I'm, Oh, I think that's Dragon Ball Super. Is um, it? I think he's fighting Goku Black or something in that. That's perfect. I think this is actually the perfect place to leave it off because uh just when you sent me that, on the recording it showed up and said, Hey, what's up? <laughs> You stupid fuck. <laughs> the you stupid fuck one is maybe one of the greatest ones out there. It's so good. Yeah, we'll leave you on you I stupid fuck. I'm just going to leave you stupid fuck up here and say goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> us talking about bad translations while I grinded up turtles for a bit. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>